Good day everyone! I'm Kevin Lau, teacher of DS Garcia Elementary School. I will be your teacher presenter for this episode of DepEd Hour Teleturuan. Are you ready to learn more about decimal numbers? At the end of this episode, you are expected to compare and arrange decimal numbers and add and subtract decimal numbers through thousands with and without regrouping. Let's begin this episode with a short review of our past lesson. Are you ready? What is the place value and value of digit 8 in 25 and 785 thousands? You're right! The place value is hundreds, while the value is eight hundreds. Read the decimal number on the screen. Correct! The answer is nine and five hundreds. Next, Write 5 and 15 ten thousands in standard decimal form. The answer is 5 and 15 ten thousands. What is 75 and 2,751 ten thousands rounded to the nearest hundreds? Good job! The answer is 75 and 28 hundreds. At this point, Let's continue to learn more about decimal numbers. Take a closer look at these examples. Well, that's great! It's about comparing decimals. Let's try to compare 15 and 147 thousands and 15 and 85 thousands. In comparing decimals, Align first the decimal points and the digits in their corresponding place values. After the first step, begin comparing the digits with the same place values from the leftmost digits. Since we have the same digits for the tens and ones place, proceed with the tens place. Between 1 and 0, 1 is greater than 0. Therefore, 15 and 147 thousands is greater than 15 and 85 thousands. Use the symbols greater than, less than, or equal to in comparing the digits in the same place value. Again, 15 and 147 thousands is greater than 15 and 85 thousands. Since you already know how to compare, you are now ready to arrange decimals. It can be in an ascending or descending order. If you want ascending order, you always pick the smallest first. If you want descending order, you always pick the largest first. Let's try arranging the numbers below from greatest to least. In arranging decimal numbers, all we need to do is to line up the decimal points and the digits in their corresponding place values. Then, we compare digits. We compare the digits in the same place value. We compare first the whole number digits. All of them have 15 as their whole number. Next, Compare the tenth digit of the decimal numbers. As observed, 0 is less than 1. Thus, 15 and 182 thousands, 15 and 147 thousands, and 15 and 18 hundredths are greater than the two decimal numbers 15 and 87 thousands and 15 and 97 thousands. Now, let us compare the three decimals with greater values. For these decimal numbers, let us compare digits in the hundreds place. 8 is greater than 4. Therefore, 15 and 187 thousands and 15 and 18 hundreds are greater than 15 and 147 thousands. Compare the thousands place of 15 and 182 thousands 
and 15 and 18 hundredths. 2 is greater than 0. Therefore, 15 and 18 hundredths is less than 15 and 182 thousandths but greater than 15 and 147 thousandths. Compare smaller decimal numbers by comparing their hundredths place. 9 is greater than 8. Therefore, 15 and 97 thousandths is greater than 15 and 87 thousandths. Now, we will list the numbers from greatest to least. 15 and 182 thousandths, 15 and 18 hundredths, 15 and 147 thousandths, 15 and 97 thousandths, and last, 15 and 87 thousandths. Before we continue with some of our activities, let's pause for a few reminders. We will be back after a short break. Welcome back to Tele Turuan. Our next topic will be about adding and subtracting decimal numbers. To add or subtract decimals, you should follow the following steps. Number 1. Write down the numbers, one under the other, with the decimal points lined up. Number 2. Put in zeros so the numbers have the same number of decimal places. And number 3. Follow the procedure of adding or subtracting whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. Let's add 1 and 25 hundredths and 251 thousandths. First step, write down the numbers one under the other with the decimal points lined up. Second step, Put in zeros so the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Third step, follow the procedure of adding or subtracting whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. So, the sum of 1 and 25 hundredths and 251 thousandths is 1 and 501 thousandths. Make sure to put the decimal point in line with the other decimal points. This time, let's try to subtract. 875 thousandths minus 75 hundredths. First step, write down the numbers one under the other with the decimal points lined up. Second step, Put in zeros so the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Third step, follow the procedure of adding or subtracting whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. So, the difference of 875 thousandths and 75 hundredths is 125 thousandths. Make sure to put the decimal point in line with the other decimal points. To wrap it up, in comparing decimals, line up first the decimal points and the digits in their corresponding place values. Begin comparing the digits with the same place values from the leftmost digits. And, use the symbols greater than, less than, or equal to in comparing the digits in the same place value. On the other hand, in arranging numbers, let's follow these two easy steps. Step 1, compare the decimal numbers. Step 2, list the decimal numbers with the highest values if you're going to arrange the numbers from greatest to least. And start with the lowest if arranged in least to greatest. Lastly, in adding and subtracting decimal numbers, Write down the numbers one under the other with the decimal points lined up. Put in zeros so the numbers have the same number of decimal places. And 
follow the procedure of adding or subtracting whole numbers. Regroup if necessary. To check your understanding about this session, let's do a short activity. Read each question carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Choose the best decimal number that fits the ordered decimal numbers. 98 hundredths, 1 and 3 tenths, blank, 1 and 36 hundredths. That's least to greatest. Letter A, 97 hundredths, B, 99 hundredths, C, 33 hundredths, or D, 1 and 33 hundredths. If you think your answer is D, great, that's the correct answer. Number 2, which among the decimal numbers is less than 156 hundredths? A. 106 tenths B. 105 tenths C. 107 tenths or D. 108 tenths The answer is B. 105 tenths. Correct. Number 3. The sum of 1 and 264 thousands and 3 and 551 thousands is blank. A. 4 and 715 thousands B. 4 and 725 thousands C. 4 and 815 thousands or letter D. 4 and 825 thousands Letter C is the correct answer. Good job! For number 4, the difference of 4 and 235 thousands and 3 and 125 thousands is blank. The choices are A, 11 and 1 tenth, B, 1 and 11 hundredths, C, 111 thousands, or letter D, 1 and 10 hundredths. The correct answer is B, 1 and 11 hundredths. Number 5, 81 and 74 hundredths plus 18 and 26 hundredths equals blank. A, 100, B, 101, C, 102, or letter D, 101 tenth. A is the correct answer. That's awesome. And that ends our lesson. Again, I am Kevin Lau, your teacher presenter for today. Thank you for learning with me.